So Microsoft made it known that Windows 10 would only be available as a free upgrade for one year. However, with Windows 10 Threshold 2, Microsoft decided to make Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 keys all compatible with Windows 10 installation media, greatly saving product installation and product activation issues. This seems to be a permanent change and you can clean and install Windows 10 using a Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 product key. Let's look at the upgrade install however. One thing that I noticed that after the 29th, if you attempt to upgrade directly using the Windows 10 media creation tool, you'll be asked for a Windows 10 only product key. So I decided to try the next most logical thing, which was to make the Windows 10 installation media and then attempt the Windows 10 upgrade from it. If you search for updates, you'll once again get the screen that asks for the Windows 10 only product key. So trying once again, we'll make the Windows 10 installation media, attempt to upgrade from the Windows 10 installation media, this time without searching for updates. And lo and behold, we are not asked for the Windows 10 only product key. And this allows us to carry out the free upgrade install. So with this conclusion, Windows 10 Redstone 1 installation media without updates will be the last installation media that you'll be able to perform an upgrade install from a base Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 installation. So let's just look at the upgrade install directly using the Windows 10 media creation tool. So basically we're just going to go to the Microsoft website and we're going to go to the Windows 10 media creation tool landing page. And we're just going to select download now and we're going to save the download. So we'll accept the user account control prompt. And I'll get a few things ready. And we can accept the license agreement here. And now we can just select upgrade and then select next. And it'll download Windows 10. So it will download Windows 10. It will verify the download and then it will say creating installation media even though we're not making Windows 10 installation media. And unfortunately it searches for updates automatically. And once it's got these updates we get this Windows 10 setup product key screen. So I'm hiding the product key here but what happens essentially when I add my 25 digit Windows 7 product key is that it gets rejected and we get set up as failed to validate the product key. So we just need to close the setup and we need to try again. So this time we're actually just going to download the installation media so we have the ISO. So once again, we'll launch the Windows 10 media creation tool. And we'll accept the license agreement again. And this time we'll select create installation media for another PC. And we'll make sure we've got proper English. And we'll save the ISO file. So I'll just label the ISO appropriately. So I'll note that it's 
UK ISO is 64 bit Windows and it's RS1. Once again, we'll get the same screen downloading Windows 10, creating installation media, and then we'll get the usual message about burning a DVD from the ISO, even though you should never burn Windows 10 to a DVD especially in a system with a UEFI bias because Secure Boot will reject any optical drives and most systems nowadays are being shipped without optical drives anyway. So we can just select Finish now that we have the ISO. So the setup will perform some cleanup and then close. And as I mentioned, this will be the last ISO that you'll be able to perform the free upgrade from. So when Microsoft released Windows 10 Redstone 2, you'll need to obtain this ISO from alternative means. So once a new build of Windows 10 is released, it's not obvious from Microsoft's website where you can download the older builds. However, Jan Krohn at hedoc.net has made this Windows and Office ISO download tool. So what we can do is just download his download tool and we can launch it. So if we just launch his ISO download tool, And to the right, we're going to select Windows 10. And to the left, we've got all the builds. So the last build that will work will be Redstone 1, July 2016. If Redstone 1 is re-released, like Threshold 2 was, then the updated Redstone 1 probably won't work for the free upgrade. Note with these ISOs as well that they're edition specific, so you must upgrade using the correct edition of Windows 10. Okay, so we we'll use the ISO from the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool because it's the Redstone 1 ISO at present. And the first thing we need to do is essentially extract the ISO. So we'll use 7-SIP to do this. So we'll just save 7-SIP and we'll just run it. Set the user account control and then select install. So now that 7-SIP is installed, all we need to do is right click the ISO and select 7-SIP and then extract to. So this will extract the ISO to a folder. And once it's 100% extracted, we can close down 7-SIP and we can just open up the folder and double click the setup.exe. So if we just go for the default option and search for the updates, then the only update that we'll essentially get will be the update that asks for the Windows 10 product key. So here we go, essentially the same screen that we're stuck on before and this screen will reject our Windows 7 product key again. So let's just quit the Windows 10 setup and again it will clean, clean up before it closes. 
essentially it will remove the updates that it just downloaded. Okay, so let's try this once again and begin the upgrade without searching for updates. So let's double click the setup. Once again, it will prepare the setup. On the screen, select not at this moment and don't leave any feedback for Microsoft to make their Windows installation better because obviously they're not making their Windows installation any better with this update. So we're getting a few things ready. We've got a license agreement. So we'll accept that. And it's just telling me that it thinks my Windows 7 English install is English US, so I would just get a small error message about the language pack. But you see that we've essentially bypassed the screen asking for the Windows 10 product key. So I can just select OK. And I can continue with the upgrade install now. So it'll make sure that the PC has enough space and then I can finally select install to actually begin the upgrade install. So we'll get the first restart. We'll get the Dell UEFI BIOS and the Windows 10 setup will continue. Get the Dell UEFI BIOS again. Updates will continue. Installing. Dell UEFI BIOS again, updates will once again continue and so on. And we'll be given the Welcome to Windows 10 screen. We can customize the settings. So I'll just disable some of these settings. And select Next and Next. Don't want to bother with a container just now, so I'll just select next. And finally, the Windows 10 upgrade will be complete and will be on the Windows 10 Redstone 1 desktop. So this computer has never ever had Windows 10 of any build installed. Therefore, we can say that its hardware profile was never ever registered with a Microsoft product activation server and it's never been made a Windows 10 Pro device before. So after leaving the system idle for about 15 minutes, what we can do is right click the start button and select system. And we can check to see whether Windows 10 Pro is activated or not. And lo and behold, the product is activated. The system is now a new Windows 10 Pro device.